There are some weird batting stances in the MLB and I'm gonna try them all out today. I made a huge upgrade to my batting cage. We now have the pitching machine set up, so we're gonna be hitting off of that today. And we also got the brand new screen to protect whoever is feeding me baseballs. Perfect time to test out these weird batting stances. I'm going to be testing every single batting stance that I thought was very weird, and we are going to determine what is the best weird batting stance. And I know some of you might not even know some of these players, so I'm gonna put a preview of what their batting stance looked like, and then I'm going to try to recreate it and see how good I hit with it. The first test we are gonna do is we're gonna see exit velocities off the tee, okay? And then after that, I'm going to take each batting stance against the pitching machine and see which ball I can hit the farthest, let's go. Batting stance number one, arguably one of the weirdest of all time, Jeff Bagwell. Okay, you guys see how Jeff Bagwell was. He is very low to the ground, legs spread about right about here, and he gets one of these. If I hit this ball over five miles per hour, I will be shocked. I think I might strike out here. Come on, baby. Oh. All right, that's not good. 67. Better than I thought, honestly. Not bad. And since we have so many batting stances we're going through today, I'm only gonna take two swings each. So 67 for Jeff. Oh yeah, I feel like my knee's about to break. Ground ball. 66, all right. We gotta write that down. All right, batting stance number two is going to be Rod Carew, okay? Another weird one, and I'm pretty sure he was left-handed, but I swing right-handed, so we're gonna go left, or right-handed on this one, okay? Now, it, his is much easier than Jeff Bagwell. He's about right here, so I think I should be able to hit the ball pretty good. And I mean, all I gotta get to is 67, so this should be pretty easy. Start about right here, and oh yeah, that's crushed. 77, that's it? Bro, come on, baby. Come on, Rod. Give me something good here. Oh, 80, there we go. First place, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, the next batting stance, Jimmy Fox, Red Sox legend. If I did do this batting stance correctly, I should be able to hit this ball 500 feet like he did multiple times. So let's try Jimmy Fox out. All right, Jimmy. Oh, home run. I mean, Jesus. Didn't read it. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy. Home run. 76, frick. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, that didn't read it, did it? 70, wow. All right, 76 for Jimmy Fox. Not great. This next batting stance is a weird one. And I told you, this is a weird one. This is actually Ricky Henderson, okay? His MLB The Show stance is a little bit different than it is in real life, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm gonna do my best to recreate the real life Ricky Henderson, okay? All right, so he kind of goes like this, right there. Is he forward or back? I think he's forward. I, I feel like I'm gonna break my back. All right, here we go. You ready for this? Oh, Ricky, 77, what is going on? I need to get one of these in the 90s. What are we doing? This is terrible. Oh my God, I popped it up. 56, frick. All right, now we got another weird one. This is Eddie Murray, okay? Um, Again, the batting stance at MLB The Show might not be spot on, but that's a freaking reference point, okay? I can't be posting MLB clips because I'll get copyright struck, okay? I can't do it, so we're doing our best. How did anyone ever play like this? Literally, I feel my hamstring ripping as I do this. All right, Eddie Murray. Oh, good piece. 78, that's almost the first place, holy Christ. My knee hurts. This is, this is more painful than doing like a deadlift right now, all right? Oh my God. <laughs> We're counting the, for 31, we're counting the first one. What the frick was that? I think finally we have a somewhat normal one. This is Gary Sheffield. He's got a weird swing, but I should be able to crush a baseball with his swing, okay? I should. If I mess this up, I'm useless. So Gary Sheffield, is literally about right here, and he just does this thing. It's pretty easy, it's pretty easy. Oh my God, didn't read, that's great news. Ground ball, oh my God, 73, what? I gotta figure my life out, what are we doing? Gary, 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 decent. 84, let's go. Gary Sheffield, okay, we got another weird one. Um, this is Kevin Euclid. Okay, Kevin Euclid is uh, a freak, all right? Probably the weirdest batting stance ever. Claire doesn't know what this looks like, so when she sees this, she might vomit. But let's go for Kevin Euclid, Red Sox legend. Not Yankee legend, Red Sox legend, let's go. 
Now, Claire, imagine what I'm hitting here, that I have a bald head, a big goatee, and I am just dripping sweat. Like, uh, like you take a, not kidding, a bucket of water and just pour it on my face right before my bat. Literally, just, that's pretty good. Right, literally, not even kidding, right here. And then he goes, boom. And when he hits, he lets go of the bottom hand. So we gotta make sure I incorporate that here. Oh God. This might even be the thumbnail. Me and Euclid side by side. The follow through is 74, not bad. I felt the elbow tweak a little bit. I might need Tommy John. Euclid, what are we doing, buddy? Imagine if Euclid had a normal swing, how good he would have been. He was great with this little thing, but what if he had a normal swing? Right there. The pitch, the one hand follow through, 77. No, I wanted him to be in first place. Brett, all right, we'll take it though, not bad. All right, now this one is probably, in my opinion, second weirdest ever. Craig Council, all right? I know we batted left-handed again. I bat right-handed, so we're going right-handed. And MLB The Show's Craig Council looks nothing like it. Nothing. So I'm going to do my best to imitate Craig Council. Craig's batting stance is so weird, you can't even see it. We might have to adjust the tee here. Yeah, so he comes here and kind of does this. Probably. Oh, I'm going to swing and miss. <laughs> this is, this is, this hurts. Oh! 27. All right, let's try that again here. Hopefully square it up. Great council. I feel my shoulder hurting. Oh my Christ. That's still slower? What the frick? How did Gary Sheffield get 84? All right, and this is the last batting stance we're gonna try off the tee. Now, I couldn't really think of any more like crazy batting stances. I'm sure I'm missing someone, but uh, this one I was reading on a website that people think is not necessarily the weirdest batting stance, but the greatest batting stance ever. So I had to include that and that is last. And apparently whoever did this little vote came up with King Griffey Jr. So I want to disagree probably. He does have a beautiful swing, but like, is it the greatest? I don't know. You guys have to tell me in the comments who you think has the greatest swing. I'm going David Ortiz, my favorite player, but let's try Griffey out here. This should go pretty good. And I am already rocking the backwards hat like Griffey did. So we're good there. But he comes here and he just gets a little bit of one of these. Boom. I mean, that is a perfect replica. Is that the word? Replica of Griffey? Maybe? I don't know. All right, here's Griffey. Ground ball short. What am I grounding out for? 76. The pitch. Ground ball. Oh my God. 72. Unbelievable. All right, so we tested nine batting stances right there. This is only test one because that's just exit velocities off the tee. And does it really matter? Not really. All that matters is if you can perform in an actual game, all right? But the standings are going to be on the screen somewhere. But in first place, we got Gary Sheffield, followed up by Rod Carew, surprisingly. Wow. Oh, wait, no. Craig Counts. Oh, God. You're going to see it on the screen. My handwriting is too bad. But there's the list. Let's go hit live now. Okay, so we got the GoPro angle set up perfectly. We got the pitching machine on. Now we just have to hope that I don't foul a ball off and destroy this camera. That would suck. But uh, let's try these batting stances, baby. I am assuming, uh, here, give me a practice pitch really quick. We didn't even realize we need to dial this thing in. Hopefully it's down the middle. All right, that's, that's right down the middle. We're just gonna go off feel and what it looks like because it's gonna be pretty obvious what the best weird batting stance is. Let's go. Up first, Jeff Bagwell. All right, so I gotta get here. Boom. Boom. Yeah, baby. I swear to God, I thought that was going to hit me in the head. I just got gassed up by like 41 miles per hour. I thought that was coming out of my head. Okay, way too early. And I forgot to say, three swings each. Good piece. Oh! God, I wish we had a radar. That's 110. So based on the one by everybody knows the rules pizza review scale, I'm going to give Jeff Bagwell's 6.3. It hurts the legs. Decent exit velocity, but 6.3 for Jeff. And now we're going to Rod Carew. Here's Rod's. Oh yeah, this one feels good, good already. Oh yeah, that's gone. I mean, he's one for one with a home run, so that's good. Rod, come on, baby. The ball got stuck. Oh God, my timing. <laughs> my timing got jacked up. Still good piece though. Oh, okay. Rod just might have hit three home runs. I don't know. That's a 7-4. That's a 7-4 for Rod. And now we got Jimmy Fox. Not great velos off the tee, but maybe live will be better. Right there. There's Jimmy Fox. That's the farthest ball I've ever hit. That, 
Oh my God, I need this baseball sim so bad. I swung early on that one, not as good. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, that's an 8-4. That's an 8-4. That was crushed. Jimmy Fox, I love you. All right, now we got another weird one, Ricky Henderson. This is gonna go much worse. All right, this is good enough for Ricky, all right? I'm not a gymnastics person over here, all right? I'm not flexible, let's go. Oh God, ground ball. Yeah, this one's not gonna be good on the pizza scale. Oh. Almost dropped the bat. <laughs> this is looking ugly. Yeah, that's pathetic. One six, <laughs> sorry, sorry Ricky. And now we got Eddie Murray. I'm kind of forgetting how his stance was, but I think it was like, all right, I guess this is Eddie Murray. <laughs> it's hard to remember all these, all right? Give me a break. Oh my God. That was freaking blasted. This cage is wobbling so much when I hit these balls. I feel like every hit is gonna fall down, but I don't think it is. I think it just sounds like it. Okay. Honestly, pretty good. Not as good as Jimmy Fox. Way better than Ricky Henderson. Six. I'm gonna give it a flat six. I know that's a rookie score, but I think it's a right out of six. And now we got Gary Sheffield, who actually was in first place off the tee. So. This should be, uh, this should be pretty good. Oh. I mean, that's crushed. It might've been a foul ball, but I think that stayed fair. I don't know. Oh, frick. Popped it up. See, the problem with this one is timing the pitch is gonna, I mean, if someone does a slope, like a quick pitch, and then they do like the little slow down thing, I don't know how you time this up. I really don't, but we'll get another chance here. Ah! Yeah, see what I'm saying? The first one, 5,000 feet. The next two, pretty terrible because of the timing, but 6-2, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. 6-2, we'll go there. And now this is the one you guys have probably been waiting for. Kevin Euclid. Not amazing off the tee, but that doesn't matter. This is live, baby. Let's go, Euc. Ow! Ow. I really focused on letting go of the bat and following through with one hand. I let go too early and my hand was barely on the bat, and that wrung every bone in my hand. Good God. I can't even imagine doing that off like Chapman or something. Oh my God. I felt my liver rip. Call, call the doctor. Yeah, one more for you. Good God, I want this one over with. Oh, that hurts. That was right off the tip, one-handed it felt like. Oh, I'm sorry, Euclid. three, one. All right, now we got Craig Council. My hand's broken, so that's cool. But Craig Council, come on, Craig. Craig Council. Oh my Christ. I didn't even see what happened. Did that almost shoot back at me? Mmm, that stung. That stung a lot. <laughs> I hate baseball. Mm. I swing too early, oh my God. All right, we're good. God, I hate wood bats. I freaking hate them. That, 7-3. Arguably, now this isn't technically my personal opinion, but whoever made the poll of the best swings ever put Griffey at number one, so we're gonna find out. This ball better go far. And if I swing early and hit it off the end again and break my hand, I'm gonna cry, I'm not kidding. Come on. Oh my God. That is so far. Oh yeah. I, uh, this is right up there with, who did I put in first, Jimmy Fox? This is right up there with him. It's, it's below Jimmy Fox, I just don't remember what I gave it. Eight five. I think I gave Jimmy Fox an eight six. That is an eight five. Wow, my hand is still ringing from that other hit. Oh my God. All right, now there's actually one more batting stance on this list that I have not shown off yet, all right? It's arguably the best batting stance ever. And let me tell you who it is, it's me! My batting stance is the best ever, check it out! Oh yeah, give me something, babe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! 
one and done. But that ball easily went 600 feet. I don't care what anyone says. All right, well, there you go, people. I tested all the weirdest batting stances. Again, I'm sure I missed a few, but uh, it's hard doing this video by yourself. When I'm planning this out, I'm looking at all these batting stances. It's hard, right? So let me know in the comments who I missed and who you think is the weirdest batting stance and who you think has the best. Again, my personal favorite, probably Big Poppy, since he's my favorite player ever, but there's so many good, like Ichiro. His batting stance, amazing, all right? But is that weird? Not really. So let me know who you guys think has the weirdest batting stance. And yeah, again, this is only the beginning in this freaking cage, okay? This is the first time we got the, uh, the pitching machine set up. Once I get that baseball sim, oh my God. Like right now, you just saw me hitting those balls. I know they went far, but who knows how far. Once I get that sim in here, oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. So be ready for that. The videos are only gonna get better and better and better. So yeah, be ready. But if you're new here, subscribe. Leave a like and let me know in the comments what videos you wanna see next. And I'm out of here, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.